Hello students, today we shall introduce ourselves to the chapter conic sections. In this chapter we shall study about various curves like circles, ellipses, parabolas and hyperbolas. The names parabola and hyperbola are given by Apollonius. These curves are in fact known as conic sections or more commonly conics because they can be obtained as intersections of a plane with a double naped right circular cone. These curves have a very wide range of applications in fields such as planetary motion, design of telescopes and antennas, reflectors and flashlights and automobile headlights etc. Here we will see how the intersection of a plane with a double naped right circular cone results in different types of curves. Under various sections of a cone let L be a fixed vertical line and M be another line intersecting it at a fixed point V and inclined to it at angle alpha. Suppose we rotate the line M around the line L in such a way that the angle alpha remains constant. Then the surface generated is a double naped right circular hollow cone herein after referred as cone and extending indefinite far in both directions. The point V is called the vertex, the line L is the axis of the cone, the rotating line M is called a generator of the cone. The vertex separates the cone into two parts called nappies. We can see in the figure here on the monitor line L is fixed and line M is the generator which rotates around line L with constant angle alpha. Look here we can see two cones generated as upper nappy and the lower nappy with a line M which is rotating along with constant angle alpha. If we take the intersection of a plane with a cone, the section so obtained is called a conic section. Thus, conic sections are the curves obtained by intersecting a right circular cone by a plane. We obtain different kinds of conic sections depending on the position of the intersecting plane with respect to the cone and by the angle made by it with the vertical axis of the cone. Let beta be the angle made by the intersecting plane with the vertical axis of the cone. The intersection of the plane with the cone can take place either at the vertex of the cone or at any other point of the nappy either below or above the vertex. Here we shall discuss about circles under the conic sections. First let us look into the definition of a circle. A circle is defined as the locus of a point which moves in a plane such that its distance from a fixed point in that plane is always constant. The fixed point is called the center of the circle and the constant distance is called the radius of the circle. In figure P is the moving point and C is the fixed point and CP is equal to the radius. Now to get into the equation of a circle, by the equation of a circle is meant the equation of the circumference. It is a relation between the coordinates x, y of the moving point P involving some constants depending upon the position of the center and the length of the radius. In set theoretical notations, it is the set of all points lying on the circumference of the circle. We can see the circle here with center C and P is the moving point. Now, in order to write down a standard equation of a circle, let us see 
to find the equation of any circle whose center and radius are given, let C be the center of the circle and its coordinates be h comma k. Let the radius of the circle be a and let p x comma y be any point on the circumference. Then C p is equal to a on squaring we have C p square is equal to a square that can be written as x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to a square. This is the relation between the coordinates of any point on the circumference and hence it is the required equation of the circle having center at h comma k and radius equal to a. Note that if the center of the circle is at the origin and radius is a then from the above form the equation of the circle is x square plus y square is equal to a square. We can see in the figure here center C with coordinates h comma k radius a and p is a point with coordinates x and y. Now let us discuss some particular cases. The equation of a circle with center at h comma k and radius equal to a is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to a square. Now this equation when the center of the circle coincides with the origin that is h and k both are equal to 0. In this case the equation 1 reduces to x square plus y square is equal to a square. In the next case when the circle passes through the origin we can see the figure here center is h comma k o is the origin and we can find a is the radius of the circle here. Let O be the origin and C is the point h comma k be the center of the circle. Draw C m perpendicular to O x. Using Pythagoras theorem in triangle O C m we obtain O C square is equal to O m square plus C m square that is A square is equal to h square plus k square. The equation of the circle 1 then becomes x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to h square plus k square which can be simplified as x square plus y square minus 2 h x minus 2 k y is equal to 0. In the third case here when the circle touches x axis let c h comma k be the center of the circle since the circle touches the x axis therefore a is equal to k. Hence the equation of the circle is x minus h whole square plus y minus a whole square is equal to a square. This can be simplified as x square plus y square minus 2 h x minus 2 a y plus h square is equal to 0. In the fourth case when the circle touches y axis we take c h comma k as the center of the circle. Since the circle touches the y axis here h is equal to a. Hence the equation of the circle is x minus a whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to a square which can be simplified as x square plus y square minus 2 a x minus 2 k y plus k square is equal to 0. In the fifth case when the circle touches both the axes the figure looks like this. The circle is touching x and y both the axes with radius a and so center becomes c with a comma a as the coordinates. In this case we have h and k both equal to a hence the equation of the circle is x minus a whole square plus y minus a whole square is equal to a square which can be simplified as x square plus y square minus 2 a x minus 2 a y plus a square is equal to 0. In the sixth case when the circle passes through the origin and the center lies on x axis the figure looks like this we have here k is equal to 0 and h is equal to a. 
Hence, the equation of the circle is x minus a whole square plus y minus 0 whole square is equal to a square, which can be simplified as x square plus y square minus 2 a x is equal to 0. In the seventh case, when the circle passes through the origin and center lies on y axis. In this case, we have h is equal to 0 and k is equal to a. Hence, the equation of the circle is x minus 0 whole square plus y minus a whole square is equal to a square. x square plus y square minus 2 a y is equal to 0. Now, let us discuss some examples of various types. In the type 1 example, let us see when we have to find the equation of a circle when its center and radius are known. Here, find the equation of a circle whose center is 2 comma minus 3 and radius is 8. Look how will we solve this. The equation of the circle is x minus 2 whole square plus y minus minus 3 whole square is equal to 8 square. This we have written with the help of the equation x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to a square. This on solving we get x minus 2 whole square plus y plus 3 whole square is equal to 8 square, which on simplification gives x square plus y square minus 4 x plus 6 y minus 51 is equal to 0. Let us look into another example. Find the equation of the circle which passes through the point of intersection of the lines 3 x minus 2 y minus 1 is equal to 0 and 4 x plus y minus 27 is equal to 0 and whose center is 2 comma minus 3. For the solution, let P be the point of intersection of the lines A, B and L, M whose equations are respectively 3 x minus 2 y minus 1 is equal to 0 and 4 x plus y minus 27 is equal to 0. On solving this equation 1 and 2, we get x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 7. So, coordinates of P are 5 comma 7. Let us see 2 comma minus 3 be the center of the circle. Since the circle passes through P, therefore, C P is equal to radius which can be expressed as square root of 5 minus 2 whole square plus 7 plus 3 whole square that is equal to radius. So, radius on simplification we get square root of 109. Hence, the equation of the required circle is 5 minus 2 whole square plus 7 plus 3 whole square is equal to square root of 109 whole square that is x square plus y square minus 4 x plus 6 y minus 96 is equal to 0. Now, let us look into type 2 examples which are based on finding the center and radius of the circle. Find the center and radius of the following circle x square plus y plus 2 whole square is equal to 9. Look into the solution how we will solve this we have x square plus y plus 2 whole square is equal to 9, which can be expressed as x minus 0 whole square plus y minus minus 2 whole square is equal to 3 square. Comparing this equation with our standard equation of circle that is x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square we find that the given circle has its center at 0 comma minus 2 and radius as 3. So, students today we have discussed about circles. We also studied about framing equations of circles in various cases. We solved examples of two different types in the coming sessions we shall learn how to solve equations under various conditions. Thank you.